Hello, my wonderful, amazing artists. It's me, Miss Abby, your art teacher, and today we are creating self-portraits. Now, I remember at the beginning of the school year when everything was like pretty different, we made self-portraits together. I think at that time that everyone was at home or maybe just starting to get back into going to school and a lot of us were like a lot of us were like pretty different and all of us were probably a little shorter maybe some of us had missing different teeth because i know i see a lot of jack-o-lantern smiles in the second grade <laughs> And some of us had glasses, different hair, and all of us have grown as artists in our creative skills as well. So I thought it would be really fun to compare our self-portraits that we did in the beginning of the year to the end of the year and to see how much we've grown because I know we've grown a lot with but sometimes it's hard to see that progress. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to look at our self-portrait. Or we're going to do our self-portraits to see how much we've grown and improved. Because I know we have. Because the secret to being a great artist is to make art a lot. And to draw a lot. And we've all been doing that. So, let's get started. I recommend using a pencil, but I'm going to use a marker so you can see. But pencil is great because you can erase, you can change, you can perfect things and get them just the way you like. Now, self-portrait is a word, a compound word. It has two words in it. Self is me, like a selfie. And a portrait is a drawing that focuses on a face. A portrait of Barack Obama focuses on Barack Obama and making it really look like him. A self-portrait is where you're trying to focus and make it look like you. And, okay, let's get started. I'm using a marker so you can see it very nicely. Let's start with that. And for our head shape is usually what I'm doing first. And you can think about, is it a circle? Is it an oval? It's up to you. I'm doing an oval. Remember, an oval's like a circle that you kind of smoosh the sides in or stretched a little. Okay, so I have my oval head. Now I'm going to do some shoulders. And this is a little small, so I'll probably add some details, like up here somewhere, just so you can see what's going on. So the head, and then I'm, and then I tell my kindergartners to sing head, shoulders, knees, and toes in their head to remember all the parts of the face. So I'm gonna start with eyes, which I do eyes shaped like footballs, and. Here's a more detailed close-up on the parts of the eye. So I do a circle, maybe some triangles coming off of it. And we have the iris, which is the part that's colorful. And then we have the black people. Let me get a black to make sure this looks right. For me, I'm looking close at my eyes. And I'm seeing that they're blue. But you might have brown eyes or green eyes. Even people with very dark eyes that maybe from far away look black actually have dark, dark brown. And if you look closely into the eyes of a person with dark, dark brown eyes, you'll see a black circle. But yeah, everyone's got pupils. And I is either everyone in class does. And then we have everyone in Lee Academy has eyelashes. They do an amazing thing for us. They protect our eyes from getting sand and dust in our eyes. Isn't that amazing? We have that. And 
We got eyebrows. Eyebrows help us express our emotion. So that is a detailed view of the eye. And I don't like reminding my students that I think onions are shaped like footballs. Oh, and I gotta draw my glasses. And my eyebrows. Now, eyes and ears. I do like letter C's or letter D's. Everyone's ears are different. You might want to look and see, okay, where does the top of my ear start and where does the bottom of my ear end? Doesn't have to be perfect, but yeah, now. These are my ears, eyes and ears and mouth. And when we're drawing our mouth, it's fun to think about like emojis and how a mouth helps us express our emotions, whether it's happy, sad, grumpy, angry, you know. And lips, and of course, you need to get your nose. And I tend to do noses like this, but there's a lot of different ways. You can even practice if you're not sure what kind of nose you want to make. Some people have like a very pointy, triangly nose. Other people, it's more curved. But when I do a nose, I think about like maybe half a triangle. If that's not looking right, then I do like a more curvy nose. Because everyone has a different nose. And then we have eyes and ears and mouth and nose. So this is all the facial features, but we gotta personalize it. This still doesn't look like me. We gotta add the hair and a top, you know, and some eyeglasses. And also if you wanna make any fashion choices, I think that's kind of part of the fun of a self-portrait is that you can give yourself, you know, your most glamorous hair you can think of and your most, you know, you can give yourself some funky earrings or a colorful top in your favorite color combination, you know. Whatever you think would be fun. There's still something missing though. With this one, I need to add my skin tone. And remember, everyone's skin tone is different because everyone has a different amount of melanin in their skin. Melanin is what makes our skin, what gives our skin its color. And for some people, a very dark skin and might use like this marker or this color pencil to color in their skin tone, have more melanin than I do. And the way I figured out my skin tone was that I used, here's the back of my paper, is that I tested different colors. I grabbed a bunch of different tools and I tested them out to see which one looked the most like me. I also experimented a little with layering color because our skin on our face isn't all one color. Sometimes our cheeks are a little bit pink as, and our lips too. And there are shadows on our face too, right? There's usually a shadow right here under our chin. There's a shadow around our nose and sometimes on our like mustache filtrum area and in our ears there's shadows too right so you got to think about that and you can think about layering color together to make that ta-da here is my try to self-portrait i experimented with layering and with some styling choices. I had so much fun making this and I'm really proud of what I did. I layered colors to create some shadows and to create 
a pink cheek like I'd been like running around or something like that. I tried to give my face some facial expressions. And yeah. Now I would love to see what you come up with. I know you all have grown so, so much as artists this year and you're gonna continue to grow and get better. Every time you make a new art, that is a step towards getting being a better artist. And I would love to see what you come up with. Drawing self-portraits is really fun and I think it'll be lovely to see how much you've grown as an artist this year. Bye, have fun making art.